Hello, in this video we will understand about the white iligo, the pathophysiology of the white iligo, the leucoderma. So what is the leucoderma? We will understand about that. The leucoderma is the loss of skin pigmentation. The melanin pigment which that is produced from the melanocyte will be deposited into the keratinocyte and the keratin uh, containing protein will lead to pigmentation in area so the pigmentation in area the loss of skin pigmentation our skin uh, depigmentation uh, in area of increase the pressure friction and trauma will lead to cause non-segmental while the somatic mosaicism is a mutation limited to a subset of cells in zygote during development will lead to cause segmental uh, vitiligo so the segmental and non-segmental here you can see this is the white iligo contain hands and this is the face so the white iligo is type is the focal and segmental is the localized while the acrofacial and vulgaris and universal is the generalized localized and generalized we can uh, divide it so anyhow let's begin to understand the uh, the pathophysiology and how it can be uh, uh, how it can work so this is a different area in whole body affected and the, basically the melanocyte we will discuss now this is the melanocyte contain dna as a genetic material and the uvb the monobenzone phenol catechol which that is uh, as well as the sunlight will lead to cause genetic predisposition a variant in 30 susceptibility loci this is the uh, a production of the igg antibodies to cell the production of the igg antibodies is the immune system activation here is the melanocyte remember it melanocyte will be uh, recognize the auto antigen through antigen presenting cell will represent and in this way the antigen presenting cell or itself which that will be recognized through naive T cell and for example the CD4 if the uh, melanocyte will be recognized or antigen presenting cell will take the antigen and in this way the T cell will be proliferate, proliferate into the CD4 and CD8 CD4 will recognize to the B cell, naive B cell to proliferate and to produce plasma cell and B memory cell to produce IgG, the immunoglobulin antibody. IgG is basically will, uh, bind the natural killer neutrophil and natural killer cell. A bond with the FC receptor will lead to activation and kill the melanocyte. In this way, the damage of the melanocyte or removal of the melanocyte will lead to uh, things is that and the CD8 is used for the cytotoxicity. Both reaction is important for the killing of the uh, uh, melanocyte and this is the autoimmune disorder like and in this way the autoantibodies will generate for the auto, uh, or, uh, auto antigen collapse. While on the other hand, the impaired mitochondrial function in cell, the susceptibility of cell to oxidative stress. This is the mitochondria and this is the DNA. Mitochondria when damaged, the oxidative stress will lead to reactive oxygen species increase within the cell. Increase will lead to damage the cell and apoptosis will occur will lead to functional melanocyte will be decreased. And the CD8 is also a T cell, the melanocyte. CD8 will collapse it also. Anyhow, by this action, the melanin production will be decreased. When the melanin production will be decreased, what will be happen? The melanin production decrease will lead to overall loss of function. So the loss of function will occur. Remember, and in this way, the white iligo or leucoderma can be possible by this function, by this uh, impaired mitochondrial function in cell and susceptibility of cell to oxid oxidative stress. 
as well as the production of IgG at autoantibodies to cell. In this way, the autoimmune disorder can be occur. And in this way, here is the melanocyte and keratinocyte, which that is contain a uh, E cadherin and the anti adhesion will be decreased. This will lead to molecule expression uh, in melanocyte which that will lead to uh, decrease the adhesion of melanocyte to keratinocyte and in this way adhesion will be decreased the adhesion of melanocyte to keratinocyte will be decreased will lead to increase the clearance of melanocytes from epidermis so increase the clearance of melanocytes from epidermis pressure uh, or friction Pressure or friction which that will lead to adhesion of melanocyte to keratinocyte decrease. Let's understand about the further uh, process. So this is the skin which that contain epidermis, the dermis and hypodermis. Hypodermis contain adipose tissue while the epidermis contain uh, melanocyte in skin. So in this way the pigment, pigmented epidermis which that will protect from the UVB radiation. And in this way, whenever the leukoderma will occur, will lead to cause the problem and the invasion, the insertion of the UVB will cause uh, cancer. So remember, the here is the process for normal skin is the pigmented epidermis, and this epidermis is a melanocyte, which that is the dermis and the normal skin which that will lead to cause the melanocyte and the autoimmune disorder will occur by this side activity in this way the further going on the white helicop will be occur due to the epidermis will be clear and the depigmentation in skin will occur treatment can be a skin camouflage the vitamin d supplement can be used topical steroid phototherapy and skin grafts uh, on the other hand the protection from sun the sunburn protection topical uh, topical pie pi macro lemus is the important so i hope you make sense about this this video was about the white oligopathophysiology it is also known as the leucoderma or in the urdu the fulberry so remember this uh, video was about the white logo. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and share if you like my video, and give the comment below for understanding better. So I hope you make sense about that. Thanks for watching.